Yesterday, Panasonic announced the, the AF100, a new camera that's based off the four-thirds sensor that they use in the GH1. Now, from reading this, it sounds like they, they basically fixed all the problems, but going more into it, it makes you wonder. Obviously, since it's coming from Panasonic's professional division and they make great products, um, you have to wonder what changes they made. Uh, obviously, the codec has been tweaked from the GH1, so while panning it doesn't uh, fall apart like the GH1 does in 1080 mode and that's just an encoder issue so I assume that that's been fixed also it's going to have professional audio inputs and be in a more traditional camcorder type case like a DVX100 or an HVX200 some of the problems I still see with this camera are that it still uses only a 24 megabit AVC HD codec Maybe they've tweaked it and made that work perfectly. I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, the second thing is, is that the four-thirds sensor is huge. It's great. It's fantastic. But it's just a weird format for a lot of lenses. It doesn't match uh, a lot of professional lenses that are two-thirds. It doesn't match the cine lenses, which are uh, around, you know, something like Canon 7D sensor size. So in a lot of ways, it's exactly what people have been asking for. But also at the same time, it it might not be. Now, definitely if you have the choice between this and an HPX200, the, when it comes out, if it's late this year or next year, early next year, second quarter next year, whenever it comes out, um, I would certainly pick that if I was in the market for a camcorder over another camera. But it I still makes me worry about some issues like uh, sensor downsampling. The sensor is the same that's in the GH1. And obviously it needs to line skip to get down to 1080p or 720p resolution. Now, some of the methods that Panasonic has used in these cameras looks better than uh, like the Canon method or the Nikon method. But is it going to be something that's worth spending $6,000 on? Is the image quality that improved? I hope I get to test a prototype to see how it compares. I've used all the other Canon cameras and I've used all the other Panasonic handheld cameras and I love them and I've owned them. and but I don't know. There's no way that you can fully read the sensor and downsample that sensor to a 1080p output with today's current sensor technology without spending a lot of money. So if it's the same sensor, it's not able to read fast enough to read all those lines, so it'll still employ line skipping, so it'll still have some weird artifact. Right now, it does seem like a very exciting camera, and at the same time, Sony announced that they were doing something similar by releasing a picture. Uh, we don't know any information about that camera yet, but uh, hopefully it's got uh, an EX series image quality with a Super 35 sensor. If more details come out, or more comparisons or images come out, I'll definitely keep you updated in comparison to the other cameras and see how it all turns out.